Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I am bringing you episode one of the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge for April 2019 by Michael Deering. This one's called Sheriff, or actually I think it's supposed to be uh, Sheriff Linda is in town, or on duty, whatever. Anyway, we have been uh, uh, hired as a new Sheriff of Pleasantville, which will be at 133 and 325. And the, the residents there will give me the contents of the chest to get me started. I have my work cut out for me as the, oh, so that should be since. This is the Groner Outlaw Gang raids the village every night. Pro I'm supposed to protect the village and the villagers. And so we need to be into hardcore. And let's see, we need to go to more world options, put in the seed, which is, where is it? I know I just saw it, 2687. Structures are on and we're in large biomes. Okay, so we're gonna get in there and I should be seeing if it worked right. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time it works. I have Batty's data pack loaded into the folder by the same name as the name that I just created the world. For the world. Yeah, that same name, and it did. It loaded right up, right there over my action bar. It says X, Y, Z, and also the day. All right. We're going to be in a village, so I'm not going to worry about seeds. I think I'll go ahead and get food if I can by getting some oak wood here. Since we are in um, large biomes, we are going to be in this savanna. We already knew that because uh, Baker Bell showed us that it was a savanna when she did the announcement. So right now I'm just going to look for apples. And then I can get acacia trees anywhere around the village and everything to do what I want to do over there. But I really want to get things like cobblestone and coal and, um, you know, stuff for building along with the wood before I get over to the village. I don't want to get there at night, and I probably would be really close to night if I go now anyway, and I still won't have any. Well, I'll get my food over there, that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, right now it would be good to... You know, get resources, I think. That's usually what I try to do before I go into a village. Um, no need. There's nine. There are nine uh, upload dates for this month anyway, and all we have to do is protect the village. All. Oh, yeah, it's still a traditional village, so we're not into 1.14 yet, and that'll be different, but I do plan on doing an alternate version. This is my official one. Uh, go ahead and do these, I guess. And that won't hurt to have those. There we go. And the sword, and the axe, and the shovel. And pick these up. And let's see if we have any any apples around. Where was the other ones that I took down over there? Okay. Lose my directions here. Right. Nothing there. Oh wait, right there. Well, I thought that was a flower. Alright, so we have a piece of food right now. Any more? Okay. So this should be interesting. So the thing is... Uh, Protecting the village, which I've been doing a lot of lately, because I've been working in the snap. There, another apple. Yay! Um, I've been working in the snapshots, and the the new village tasking is upon us with the with the advent of 19w12a, which was really glitchy, and then. Uh, we now have 12B, and it is still glitchy because the sleeping thing is really bad. Um, I don't, you know, the players are having problems as well as the villagers, but everybody's popping into walls and stuff with standard replacement of beds, which still, which still should be fine. So um, I've been kind of putting stuff at bay until I, until they get through with that, maybe get on to the next snapshot, because there are a lot of things. I've gotten notices to the the reports that I've given, the bug reports, and uh, saying that they are working on those. They recognize that they're there, and they are working on them. So it's not something they intend. They fixed other things, like the villagers weren't s 
sleeping, they were going around and piling up on beds, like two or three to a bed, and when all the other village cra villagers crowding in and sleeping on, it's not sleeping, standing on top of the ones that were sleeping, and uh, each villager is supposed to snap to his own bed, so, and there are ways to make that work better, but even when I was working on, that, on a way to do that, there's another apple, third apple, nice. Um, it just wasn't happening. So now, instead, we get killed or get thrown out of the village entirely, like I already had one protected, and my villagers were popping out of bed, out through the walls, or into a wall and dying, and <laughs> yeah. so I kind of have put off doing any more of that. I've been working on doing a survival one and just building my resources, and uh, okay, there's another one over there. That kind of stuff until we get one that where the villagers are working correctly. I know they're getting close, and it's a lot of fun, and the mechanics are great as far as the, the way the villagers are going to work now. Um, lots and lots and lots of different things than what we're used to, but the protecting part of it won't be nearly as bad because of the way they work. So yeah, we'll, uh, in, I do plan to do an alternate one here in this, and hopefully the snapshots will get updated before we get through with it, um, which could make a big difference. I might, e I think I might even wait a wait. Right now we are not even at the first day, so I'm doing this early because of that, because I want to do the alternate one also, and I had time tonight. <laughs> so, uh, and I know I saw another oak tree somewhere. Oh, there it is, right over there. Oh, there's one there too. Good. Um, I should actually head toward positive uh, there that way. Actually, this is the right way to go, and I'll go ahead and get this tree first. Okay, one more. I think I can get that uh, out of the axe without any problem. I see llamas over there. Interesting. It is a savanna. I always forget that the llamas can be in the savannas too, especially if they're up in the hills, which we must be. Okay. It's going to be getting night here pretty soon, but I'd like to maybe get one more apple at least. So far, so good. Three apples. That's great. But if I'm going to go down into a cave system somewhere, then I would like to have some food. I would also like to maybe kill a couple spiders and get a couple of pieces of string so I can fish. Although we will be in the village and we'll have food. So I could also make a bow if I get enough string. That'll be nice. No more apples. Then I got more wood. That's good. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and head for the right direction. Like I said, let's see, plus, and wait, wait, wait. Positive, positive. This is the way I want to go right, right here. I need to go to 133 on the X and 325 on the Z. And I sure would like to be able to kill some of that meat. Or you know, kill some of the the cows and stuff like that to have meat and to have other stuff. I uh, don't need the wool actually. Oh hey, that looks like the village over there, right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I can see it in the distance. That must be it because we're yeah we're dying. I don't think that I don't see anything else over there, so I'm guessing that that is it. All right, so let's go on down here. Um, let's probably put on some sort of a weapon here. Um, hmm, okay, I can get across over here this way. What a nice bridge. <laughs> An acacia tree, acacia bridge. Um, did I see a hole? Oh, there's one over there too. I could have gone into that one, or I can get into this one. Uh, where is it? It's right over here somewhere. I knew I saw something. This goes directly over there, I think. I don't want to get there, though. It's going to be night. I don't want to go there now. I want to do this first. Um, you know, I could probably collect some sand while I'm here. That would probably be a good thing for later. Because we will have to deal with phantoms. I hear a zombie. And killing a few zombies would give me some extra food, for one thing. That wouldn't hurt. They're probably in that cave right there, one of these. Yeah, there's the other one right there. OK. 
Okay. That's probably enough. You know, if I get some stuff and can fish from up there on the hill, it might be good to have a better sized pond here. So let's just do this. Definitely hearing zombies. Including, I'm not sure, but I think maybe a baby zombie. It's really not what I want to hear. Oh, big cave there. Yeah, it's bigger than I thought it was. Hmm. Okay, that's all right. We have a little bit of food. Um, let's go over here. Well, that isn't even close enough to fish there, is it? Shoot, I thought it was. Oh well. Oh well. That's there. Um. I probably want to keep that to make coal, depending on what I come up with in there. Okay. We can do the same thing right over here. And then I'll have some dirt. And let's just go ahead and set this down. Still not evening, so we can do this. And make another shovel. Nope, no, 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 no. There we go. Yeah, we are starting to get lower light levels already now. So I probably want to get up there and see what's in there. And get some stuff set up. Okay, there's nothing right here at the moment. Oh, did I see coal? I did. Alright, so let's go do that. Right over here. Okay, there's more stuff down there, but let's uh let's stop here and get this. Then I can get some stuff lit up here. Alright, let's do that. Uh, sticks right here. We have those and we have this. So there. And uh, those go there and that goes there. Alright, let's just make sure that nothing can spawn in here proper. In this part of the cave at least. There will be other stuff around. There's some more coal. And perhaps we should, oh good, good, all right, there's a place to shelter here, all right. So we can do stuff and be a little bit safe while we're gathering resources. Excellent, excellent. Go ahead and get these and get enough, I think, the uh, to get my first stone pick. That was a squid. <laughs> Not to be alarmed. Alright, we need to make more sticks right now. I will definitely need to get more wood, but we're going to be right there in the savannah, so that's really not a problem. Pick, 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 pick. Right here. Three of those. Boom. Just like that. Get that one out of the way. Pick this up. And get the rest of this coal. Okay, that's good. All right, now I think before anything else, I saw some more right up there. Let's get up there closer to that. Okay. Losing my mouse pad. There we go. Any more? Nope, but that helps. Might as well get some of this while I'm here. Just let it fall down. Might as well. I don't hear any skeletons coming or anything, which could be a problem if they did. Okay. I'd like to have a couple stacks of this at least. Which would be great. Just for something to have for extra building materials other than acacia. since I have that bit of coal, I'm going to go ahead and just make those into planks right now, and that should be helpful. There we go. I don't want to wait up here too long because I'll have to go pick those up before they all uh, go away. There we go. A little closer that way. Alright. And we can get a few more this way, I think. Alright, let's go on down grab all these things.
try not to track it tracked anything out there. Okay. And I think I'll go ahead. There's gravel right here. Try to get some flints. Because I may want to go to the nether. We'll see. I know I got flint already. But I could make concrete and stuff like that if I wanted to also. In fact, I may want to. The, the savannah houses, and they take... Um, it's, it's not 1.14. I'm thinking 1.14. Never mind what I said about savannah houses. They are different in the savannah in 1.14. More dangerous because they have the inside corners where the zombies can get to the... I don't want that. The zombies can get to the uh, villagers. Even if they're inside and safe. Or supposedly safe. Okay, well, how much do we have here? I can go down a little bit and try to get some... Uh, that's the gravel. And that, I think I'm not going to need the trees, so let's leave those behind. And... Uh, um, there's coal. I want that. I don't want that. Okay. Um, that was just out, wasn't it? So actually, if I'm going to go down, should I go try to find another place that goes down more, or should I just try to go down here? I don't... Because the night has just started. Eh. Maybe I'll just go down over here. Let's see what we can find this way. Oh, hello. Um... Well, yeah, I'm glad I did that, I guess. Uh, that goes down in a hurry. Wow. Um, man, I wish I had some iron right now. Because then I could grab a bucket and grab that water. Um, mm. Get this. Go ahead and get the rest of the coal. That'll be good. I wasn't looking for something that went down quite this quickly. Is interesting. Um, there we go. Come on, give me that. There we go. Yeah, I definitely would like to find some iron really quickly. That's probably one of the main things that I want. I, I guess we're going to be, I don't know what we're going to be getting from that chest. It just says that the villagers are going to give us the contents of the chest, so obviously there is a forge. So there will be something in there. could be food. Probably some food. And then who knows what else. Um, I guess we'll just go ahead and go on down. And look for day one on my readout here. Okay. And then we need to make some more torches. Stop and make another pickaxe here in a few minutes. Like right now. <laughs> and sticks. Uh, come on, couldn't get them. Where did the sticks go? Right there. Uh, yeah, there. And there. Just make one. And then uh, that's enough for now. This way. Whoa, okay. Right there. And then down next. Right there. And some light there. Okay, so then we could follow the water, I guess, and see what we can find. There we go. Good, more coal. Let's dam this up. Okay, good. Torches. Still not day one. Oh, great, that's as far as this one went. Well, there's more coal at least. And possibly, let's see, what layer are we on? 45, yeah. We could get iron. 
Maybe there'll be some behind the clock. Sometimes there is. Sure, get tired of using stone picks really quickly. Still day zero. Yep. Okay, so we're at 161, so we're we're still like three hundred about two hundred blocks from the village on the Z axis and we're we need to go back about thirty blocks, so not quite twenty-eight or so on the X axis. So that's not too bad. Put some torch there. Yeah, there's a good supply of this at least. Now if I'd have gotten more wood, I should I would have been able to make some fences and stuff ahead of time, but maybe I can just get that during the day. A couple more trees will give me some fence material. Depending on how large the village is, how many villagers there are. I I don't want to lose any villagers. You you know me. I'm I really hate getting there late in the day or anything like that. Um, day one is here. Speaking of late in day, all right, I'm gonna get out here now, actually, so that I can be ready. <sighs> Can't get out of here. Covered it up. We'll just climb up the water. And whoa, that's the wrong way around. Um, where can I get out? Right over here. There we go. All right. There we go. We will start up the new episode from right out here. Ready to go up to the village. Alright, I'll see you in episode 2. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.